sprejena to, pa da se veliko ukvarjamo z konoplo, z odvisnostjo z konoplo, z škodljivimi učinki konople. I'm also the principal investigator of a randomized control trial looking at four different strains of smoked marijuana for the treatment of PTSD in military veterans. Mm -hmm. Because I had so many military veterans reporting that they were getting benefit from marijuana and much more results than anything I could give them by prescription, you know. So I started to finally listen and learn from the veterans how they were using this plant to manage their PTSD very successfully. Človek je to jemne, da bi mu jasno informacijo in predvsem ne bi tudi vedel, kaj same. In katere sestavine bojo delovali in katere ne bojo delovali. In tu je zdaj res zmeda. Ljudje, ne boš bo smo slišali kasneje, upuščajo terapijo, ki bi jim lahko pomagala. So many people suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder who just were not getting better and they were being put on eight, ten different prescriptions all for this one complex illness. And in fact, then all these patients were able to walk away from all of their prescription meds and use the single intervention of the marijuana plant to manage the whole constellation of PTSD. So it was really compelling. But the truth is that if PTSD can control, um, if PTSD symptoms can be controlled by marijuana, if you look at each of those symptoms in PTSD, you can think about how marijuana might be useful in each individual symptom. We have in Slovenia two free drugs, tobacco and alcohol, which give us a lot of damage, and we have a lot of damage, and we have a lot of damage, and we have a lot of The data comes out of the FDA trials and it shows it's a miracle drug. Look, it's cured this and cures that. And then suddenly we put it into practice, we start using it on patients, and we say, this doesn't work and it has a ton of side effects. Now my patient is 30 pounds heavier, they can't have sex, they don't, you know, they feel hopeless and suicidal. Nekih ne bi rad primeral konople, ampak če pa jo, pa ima konople sigurno nekaj manj škodljivih učinkov. Ampak zelo je dokazano, da se poveča dostopnost do droge, se poveča število ljudi, ki jo vzamejo, večje število ljudi, ki drogo jemljajo, pomeni večje število ljudi, ki imajo zaplete. Mi vemo, da predvsem pri mladih ljudeh lahko konopla povzroča resne zaplete, da poveča možnost razvoja tudi raznih psihiatričnih motov, kljub schizofrenijo, da tudi pri pacijentih, ki nimajo, ki niso mladi, pa to jemljajo in pri tem gledajo prehitro ali jemljajo na pačno vrsto, ki ne bi navidel, lahko pride do vrstnih zapletov. In to je za pričakovat. Torej, če večja legalizacija pomeni več tega. Some varieties of marijuana that are beneficial to schizophrenia, that's been documented. There's some German study that confirmed that. But it needs to be replicated in a larger scale so that we can understand. Because if that were to be true, if we were to find out um, in, a, in a real rigorous trial that this was the case, this could open up a whole new dimension for psychiatric patients who currently are refused access to the medicine. Mm -hmm. But you're right, I mean, I have just anecdotally, I have so many patients who are schizophrenic who report a benefit from marijuana. But the problem is, again, they're buying it on the street because you can't qualify for a medical marijuana card in the United States for a psychiatric illness. There are no qualifying conditions for psych problems. Ampak vse kakor je za pričakovat, torej več težav. In to bo zopet neko breme. In to je treba zelo jasno regulirati. But fortunately, more and more patients are learning, patients are teaching each other how to use this plant, and that is going to be the, you know, the revolution that we're seeing. It's going to continue to snowball, you know. Jaz mislim, da ideja o medicinskih kanobinih je zelo konstruktivna, nujna in potrebna. Ideja o legalizaciji konople pa ta hip ni zrela in ni potrebna in saj iz tega psihiatričnega vidika sem osebno proti. Situation is completely insane. It doesn't, there's no logic here and it's just, it's a government enforced structure to keep marijuana illegal and keep it um, uh, prohibited and out of the hands of sick people who desperately need it, and it's really shameful. We know that there are konopla različne sestavine, da so te različne, da je pomembno razmere teh sestavin, količina različnih sestavin, 
In to pri neki sami samoprodukciji, pri samo zgoji verjetno težko dosežeš, da dobiš tisto najboljšo kombinacijo, ki je določeno bolezen in motno najbolj uspešna. The wisdom of the plant is in the natural balance of all of these cannabinoids working together in concert with each other, synergistically, to create what we now call the entourage effect. That's the beauty of the plant. And that's being lost now by all these pharmaceutical companies trying to isolate a single cannabinoid and, and synthesize it chemically and put it into a pill and patent it and make tons of money. And then, I don't know ljudje, ki to prodajo, dobro namerno v Sloveniji, ali vedo, kaj prodajo, kakšne razmere prodajo, ali to testirajo. In zato je v tem smislu potrebno, da za zdravljene tisto kombinacijo, ki je v redu, ki je lahko bolj uspešna in jo manj stranski učinkov. A lot of the psychiatric medicines are very toxic. Many of them have, you know, really severe side effects and drug interactions that can plague patients for a long time. Kaj se češ pa Stravo za djec, seveda, je pa dosti hitr vsaka dobra. Zakaj stvar kohol in dobak dovoljena, to je stvar zgodovine, tradicije, kulture, vere in vsega tega, kar v evropskem ali pa v zahodnem svetu imamo. These drugs, people are, they may go into remission, symptoms do get better, but then they're back out of remission just as fast. As soon as you stop the medicine, you're back into, you know, plagued by all these symptoms. Se mi zdi tako hecno, da zdaj v situaciji, ko je pravzaprav cela Evropa v krizi, pa Slovenija še skor najbolj, se pogovarjamo s tem, na kakšen način se bomo boljše imeli. Lahko vsi začnemo kaditi travo, če bo dovoljena, pa bomo s tem krizo preboljeli. A imamo kakšne bolj konstruktivne misli. Hundreds of published studies already confirming the therapeutic benefit of marijuana. They may not be high-powered, randomized control trials, but there are some. There are, you know, as much as the government has fought so hard to suppress this research, there are some very legitimate studies that have slipped through that are published in peer-reviewed medical journals that verify that this plant has a, a myriad of crucial medical benefits that need to be more, exa more fully examined. And the only way to study this plant in a rigorous ma manner is by ending prohibition. We have to, you cannot study this plant in an atmosphere of prohibition.